My name is Joshua Ogantuache and this is Fitness View Work. Bye! In this video I'm going to be talking you through or if I'm going to be showing you my shoulder workout. Shoulder workout tends to be broken into supersets. Two reasons I do that. One in terms of intensity and two because of time. So usually after work I just want to get into the gym. I want it to be 45 minutes to an hour, no longer than an hour. So I will chuck in supersets so it allows me to get more coverage of exercises I want to perform on that specific day. Shoulders weren't that great um, about a year or two. In fact, they still weren't that great. And um, I was giving some advice on tackling this muscle group. When you have a lagging muscle group, what you need to do is give it extra time. Um, there's no point basically given the same amount of time that you give to a lagging muscle group that you'd give to a group, for example, which is quite strong. For example, if your chest is big, your chest will only get bigger and your, your shoulder will only be playing catch up. So what I did was I actually dedicated a whole day, a whole training session, two shoulders. And I did that for about a year. And through doing that, actually, I found that I had a lot of growth and I was able to build a lot of strength in my shoulders. And actually, it's almost a domino effect when you train your chest, your shoulders, is almost a secondary muscle group that you use um, throughout alongside your triceps. I found that actually my chest has got a lot stronger and I'm, my performance as far as chest workouts is a lot stronger. Developing your shoulders, especially when you wear a shirt, a nice tight fit shirt, overall look aesthetically is greater from developing your shoulders. So I'd say shoulders is massively important. So today I'm gonna to show you, um, take you through my shoulder workout. It's about 45 minutes to an hour. As you can see, I've uh, I've got a lot of supersets thrown into there and that's how I tend to train. I do change things up just to keep the muscles guessing. Let me know what you think. Keen on your feedback. Enjoy! Now the first exercise I actually perform is what I've called an off the rack shoulder press, so to speak. I will do three sets of that particular workout and I'll do it 10 to 12 reps. I'll tend to go heavy because it's a compound exercise. Compound meaning it works more than one muscle group. So with this particular exercise, the off the rack shoulder press, I will probably put in heavy weight. So obviously I've got most energy as far as the first workout is concerned. Um, and I'll just try and kill myself. tip when you're performing this exercise is to make sure you keep your core tight at all times especially when you bring it up as well core tight no slanting uh, you hurt your back you hurt your back core tight at all times when you bring it up you want to try and bring the bar up as close to your face as possible okay now as the weight gets heavier you're naturally going to want to come back like that as soon as you come back like that you take the pre tension off your shoulders and you put on your back. Okay? So the key is you can straight up and power up. Straight across. Actually technically when you power up, the bar should just be just over your head. And then down. So the second workout that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our Arnie presses. Everyone loves the Arnie presses and we're going to be supersetting them with what I call the alternate frontal and lateral raises. So I'll be doing that for three sets, 10 to 12 reps. These are absolutely brilliant because I find them effective because you work technically your lateral raises and your front raises in one exercise. is the military press. Military press, um, I'm also gonna superset the military presses with front raises. Again, find it really, really effective. Keeps the intensity up. I will do again, 10 to 12 reps of each exercise and I'll do three sets in total. I like this exercise a lot because everyone goes machines, machines are for girls, machines are for girls. 
I don't think so. I think machines allow you to get more control over the exercise and making sure, obviously, you're tackling the muscle group that you're trying to tackle. This one's brilliant. So with your military presses on the machine, super important. You bring them up, bring them down to mouth level. Try and avoid dropping them, because as soon as you drop them, you're resting, you're not working the shoulders, okay? I'm gonna try and keep the tension all the way here. Then up, here, up. It's no good. It's no good to anyone, huh? I suppose for me, tension is really important, that like muscle tension. That's what leads to muscle damage. And that's one way that promotes, promotes muscle growth. So, time to take on board. So next exercise, I'm going to do 15 to 20 reps. Tends to go a little bit lighter. Um, it's not a massive muscle as far as the delts are concerned. It's the back part of the delts, so I don't necessarily need to go that heavy on it. Tons of reps. Um, really, really love this exercise. Really, really effective for the rear part of the delt. So the last workout that I'm gonna do is a go in to be a workout which I do on my traps. What I do is I'll grab two 20 kg plates. Don't really know what this workout's called, but they're basically strugs, okay, in three different directions, so to speak. I'll probably do 12 to 15 reps on each side. That is my shoulder slash trap workout done. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Peace.